सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंट्स ऑडियो बुक हेल्थ एंड फिजिकल एजुकेशन द टेक्स्ट बुक फॉर क्लास नाइन्थ चैप्टर सेवन टीम गेम्स सेवन पॉइंट थ्री पॉइंट टू हाउ टू प्ले क्रिकेट अ क्रिकेट मैच इज प्लेड बिटवीन टू टीम्स ऑफ इलेवन प्लेयर्स ईच द मैच इज डिवाइडेड इन टू पीरियड्स कॉल्ड इनिंग्स ड्यूरिंग एन इनिंग one team fields and the other bats the two teams switch between fielding and batting after each inning all 11 members of the fielding team take the field but only two members of the batting team are on the field at any given time the fielding team's 11 members stand outside the pitch spread out across the field behind each batsman is a target called a wicket One designated member of the fielding team called the bowler is given a ball and he attempts to deliver bowl the ball if the bowler succeeds in hitting the wicket please see figure 7.9 or if the ball after being struck by the batsman is caught by the fielding team before it touches the ground the batsman is out if the batsman is successful in striking the ball and the ball is not caught before it hits the ground the two batsmen may then try to score runs for their team by running across the pitch each crossing and grounding by both batsmen is worth one run the batsman may attempt multiple runs or select not to run at all if the batsman hits the bowled ball over the field boundary without the ball touching the field the batting team scores six runs if the ball touches the ground and then reaches the boundary the batting team scores four runs in figure 7.9 we can see a batsman has been bowled the ball hit the stump and that is why he is out clean bowled page number 87 the inning is complete when 10 of the 11 members of the batting team have been dismissed one always remaining not out or when a set number of overs has been played field with positions in cricket are shown in figure 7.10 7.3.3 field and equipment the pitch is at the center of the field it is the area of the ground between the bowling creases one on both sides and it is 3.05 meter in width and 20.12 meter in length The pitch shall not be changed during a match unless it becomes unfit for play. The ball will be leather skinned and its weight must not be less than 155.9 grams and not more than 163 grams. The circumference of the ball must be in between 22.4 cm and 22.9 cm. A wooden bat should be 10.8 cm in width. and 96.5 cm in length including the handle time for some activity activity number 7.6 collect all the cricket standardized equipment and take them to the class have a discussion on measurement of different equipment and check whether these are of correct specifications now at the end of the page we have figure 7.10 which shows a cricket field As you can see a cricket field is round in shape in the center is pitch on one side is the bowler and on the other side is the batsman the batsman has three wickets called stumps behind him and there is a wicket keeper behind the stumps towards the right side of the batsman there are three slips then there is a field position called gully then point then cover and then down the ground mid off and on the leg side of the batsman we have square leg then close in field then mid on and there is a mid wicket and now let's discuss about the fielders fielding in the deep we have third man on the right side of the batsman then we have a long off and almost behind the bowler there is a fielder to stop a straight shot on the leg side we have long on and on the finer side towards the leg side we have a fine leg and almost behind the wicket keeper we have a long leg position and we have a side screen at both the ends one exactly behind the keeper and one exactly behind the bowler page number 
Each wicket is 22.80 cm in width and consists of three wooden stumps with two wooden bales on the top. The wicket should be pitched opposite and parallel to each other at a distance of 20.12 m between the center of the two middle stumps. The stumps stand 70 cm tall and each bale is 11.1 cm in length. The bowling crease is marked in line with the stumps at each end and is 2.64 m in length. The bowler bowls the ball in sets of six deliveries or balls and each set of six balls is called an over. When six balls have been bowled, another bowler is deployed at the other end and the fielding side changes ends while the batsmen do not. A bowler cannot bowl two successive overs, although a bowler can bowl unchanged at the same end for several overs. Activity number 7.7 .7. On a chart paper or blackboard, draw the cricket field along with pitch. Show all the fielding positions and discuss with classmates. Now moving ahead, we have figure 7.11. The figure shows a cricket pitch with detailed dimensions. The length of the pitch is 22 yards. On both the ends, we have bowling crease. Using these bowling creases on one side, the batsman bats. On the other side, the bowler bowls. The breadth of the batting pitch is 305 cm. If we look at the pitch from the bowler's angle, we can see a clear marking for the popping crease, then there is a bowling crease and there is a place where stumps are placed. And further, a marking for the return crease. The width of the bowling crease is 264 cm. And if you measure the distance between the return crease and the popping crease, that is 366 cm. And the bowling crease is 264 centimeters wide. Now moving on with the chapter. Two umpires are appointed, one on each end, bowler's end and striker's end, to monitor the game. There is also a third umpire for play review. The umpire's decision during a game is final in all matters. 7.4 Football With your friends, you might have played football. Do you know the history of the game? Let us study some important information about football. Football was played in many countries in some form or the other. Federation Internationale de Football Association, FIFA, the world body to govern football was founded in Paris in 1904. In India, this game is governed by the All India Football Federation, AIFF. According to FIFA, the very earliest form of the game for which there is scientific evidence was an exercise, a military manual dating back to the 2nd and 3rd centuries BC in China. Page number 89 In India, football began its journey during the British rulers and in no time it became popular among the masses. The first recorded game took place between the Calcutta Club of Civilians and the gentlemen of Barakpur in 1854. The first football association, the Indian Football Association, IFA, was established in Kolkata in 1893. It was later on replaced by All India Football Federation, AIFF. The decade of 1951 to 1962 is known as the golden era in the history of Indian football as the country put up commendable performances in a number of international competitions. India won golds in 1951 and 1962 Asian Games, held at New Delhi and Jakarta respectively. India became the first Asian nation to reach the Olympic football semi-finals in 1956 Melbourne Olympics. The AIFF had joined the Federation Internationale de Football Association FIFA in 1948. 7.4.1 Field and Equipment The ball is made of leather, spherical in shape and the circumference of the ball is 68 to 70 centimeter, whereas the weight is 410 gram to 450 gram. 7.4.2 How to play football The duration of the match of football is of 90 minutes divided into two equal halves of 45 minutes each with an interval of 10 to 15 minutes. 
In each team, there are 11 players, one of whom is the goalkeeper and six substitute players. To start a game, a team requires at least seven players. A coin is tossed and the team that wins the toss has the option to decide either of two goals they decide to attack in the first half of the game or to opt kick-off to start the match from centre-line. The option unchosen by the toss winner has to be opted by the toss loser. Team which has not started with kick-off starts in second half with changed ends with a kick-off. A goal is scored when the ball fully crosses over the goal line. The ball has also to go between the goal posts and under the crossbar, without any rule violation or break or without committing foul. Penalty of direct kick is given to the team for acts or attempt to act like kicks, trips and jumps during scoring. An indirect free kick is given to the opposing team in case a goalkeeper inside his or her own penalty area control the ball more than six seconds with his or her hands or touches the ball again with hands after release. For direct or indirect free kicks, the ball must be stationary when the kick is taken and the kicker does not touch the ball a second time until it has been played by another player. Activity time Activity 7.8 Write any five rules of football games and discuss with your classmates. Activity 7.9 Draw the sketch of the football field with all specifications on a chart paper or blackboard and discuss with your classmates. Page 90 A penalty kick is given against a team that commits one of the ten offences. A goal may be scored directly from a penalty kick. A goal cannot be scored directly from a throw-in. A throw is given when the ball passes over the touchline, either on the ground or in the air. The throw will be taken from the point where it has crossed the touchline by the opponents who last touched the ball. A corner kick is awarded when the whole of the ball passes over the goal line under the crossbar, either on the ground or in the air, having last touched a player of the defending team and a goal is not scored in accordance with the relevant law. Figure 7.12 shows dimensions of a football field. The football ground is rectangular in shape. The longer sides are called touch lines and the shorter sides are called the goal lines. The two goal lines are between 45 and 90 meter, 50 and 100 yard wide and have to be of the same length. The two touch lines are between 90 and 120 meter. 100 and 130 yard long and have to be of the same length. All lines on the ground are equally wide, not to exceed 12 cm, 5 inches. The corners of the pitch are marked by corner flags. For international matches, the field dimensions are more tightly constrained. The goal lines are between 64 and 75 meter yard, 70 and 82 yards. And the touch lines are between 100 and 110 meter, 110 and 120 yard long. Goals are placed at the centre of each goal line. They consist of two upright posts placed equidistant from the corner flag posts, joined at the top by a horizontal crossbar. The inner edges of the posts are regulated to be 7.32 metres, 24 feet wide. And the lower edge of the crossbar is elevated to 2.44 metres, 8 feet above the pitch. Nets are usually placed behind the goal though are not required by the laws. The goal area consists of the rectangle formed by the goal line. Two lines starting on the goal line 5.5 meters, 6 yard from the goal posts and extending 5.5 meters, 6 yard into the pitch from the goal line. And the line joining these, that is, they are a rectangle 6 yards by 20 yards. The penalty area or the 18 yard box is similarly formed by the goal line and lines extending from it, but its lines start 16.5 meters, 18 yard from the goal post and extend 16.5 meters, 18 yard into the field. That is, this is a rectangle 44 yards by 18 yards. The penalty mark or the penalty spot is 11 meters, 12 yards in front of the very center of the goal. This is the point from where 
penalty kicks are taken. The penalty arc or the D is marked from the outside edge of the penalty area, 9.15 meters, 10 yard from the penalty mark. The center circle is marked at 9.15 meters, 10 yard from the center mark. The halfway line divides the football field into two. Page 91. Page number 91. Card system. In football, there are two types of cards. Yellow card, which is used to communicate that a player, substitute, substituted player has been cautioned. Red card is used to communicate that a player, substitute or substituted player has been sent off. Figure 7.13 shows how dribbling is done on a field of football. 7.4.3 Fundamental Skills Dribbling Refer Figure 7.13 This is the most important skill in the game. The ball is dribbled on the ground with gentle strokes of the feet and moving in a specific direction with control. In dribbling, the player can use either the inside or the outside of the feet. Heading Please check Figure 7.14 Player should have made contact with the forehead in general, otherwise any part of the head can be used. Sometimes the player may use the top of his head on a long pass or throw in. It is important for the player to keep eyes open and fixed on the ball and the body be positioned in line. Kicking Please check figure 7.15 The ball is kicked by keeping the toe pointed out and ankle locked. Strike the ball with laces part in step of the foot. Knees should be kept slightly bent and the ball should be kicked straight up into the air. The kicking leg should keep on swinging forward and upward direction in the direction of kicking. Figure 7.14 shows how heading is done. A player is seen and he has just kicked a ball with his head and the ball is in the air. Figure 7.15 shows kicking. The figure shows how exactly your foot should be when you are about to kick a football. Now time for some activity. Activity 7.10 Practice dribbling, heading, kicking, tackling and passing skills with your classmates. Page number 92 Figure 7.16 Tackling in figure 7.16, we can see two players trying to tackle each other. Figure 7.17 Passing In this figure, we can see two players opposite each other. The one who possesses the football is trying to pass the other. Tackling Please check figure 7.16. This is gaining the ball possession or knocking it out from the opposing footballer. Passing Figure 7.17 The instep or the push pass is a common pass used in football. In this, the passing foot turns outward, locking the ankle, keeping the knee slightly flexed. It is a push type of action. You were just listening to this audiobook. Narrator Neeraj Yado, Technical Coordinator Bati Langlingdo, Sound Recordist Vikas Sangwan, Assistants in Production. Ruchi Sharma, directed and produced by Vimalesh Chaudhary. This audiobook is presented to you by CIET and CERT, New Delhi, India.